Bleach chapter 681 review. <laughs> Let's get started off by saying once again, this is not a complex review or a deep review. This is just me giving my thoughts on the chapter. Now, in my live reaction, I skipped everything involving Aqua, Hackwalt, and uh, Uryu. I don't pay attention to that fight. I never have. But I am going to criticize it now that it's over. Okay, that fight was too short. That fight, we, we barely saw them fight. In fact, it was mostly, it was like, Fight! Fight for two panels! Dialogue! Okay, we're good. That's literally what that fight was. It was fight, dialogue. Fight, dialogue, and it pisses me the hell off. Because half world was built up to be some people, I think it was Tekken 101, who said the primary antagonist, the secondary antagonist of the arc. And, and he died like, go save your friend. Oh, no, Kubo. Stop rushing this shit. Oh my god, it was so stupid. But apparently, Ryu's antithesis power is one of the only one abilities that could counter Yuha, apparently. Even though I don't really think it matters that you can counter him, because he's God. He killed God. Ugh. No, but moving on to that, we got to see there was a little bit of comedy with Renji when he pissed each go up. And he's just like, get your ass up, Ichigo! And, and Randy's just like, and Ichigo's just like, why? There's no point. It's hopeless. I liked that. That made me laugh a little bit. And you have Rukia there, like, stuttering. Like, well, maybe we can, maybe we can think of something. Maybe we could, uh, I like that. I thought that was really funny. Rukia pretty much comes trying to come up with a plan to beat God in a fight. Yeah, you can't beat God in a fight, and you can't beat Yuha in a fight, then we'll get kind of trying, trying to think of something, and that is where I get angry. Tsukashima showed up, yeah. Tsuka fucking Jima. You know that guy? The guy from the arc, the full bring arc. You know the arc that everybody hates? By the way, I called that in my Bleach Ending Prediction video that I made the day the five weeks thing was announced, which may not actually be five weeks, uh, we learned out of the recording of this video. Apparently, Bleach has, enough, has it will be ending in less than 10 weeks. We know that, so it could be more than 5 weeks. It could be a little bit more, but that's beside the point. I made a video with Zeno the Snake. With Zeno the Snake. Link to his channel will be in the description box down below. But we made a video together, and in the video, we discussed everything. We discussed everything that could happen there. We discussed all the different things that could happen. And I said, maybe Shukashima could do something, but we blew it off. Like, that would be freaking retarded. Because Tsukashima can only manipulate memory. Now, I'm not going to go into this like I understand how it works. Some people do. I think Tekken 101 did a video on it, trying defending it and explaining it. I'm just not going to do it, guys. I don't get it, and I don't think Tsukashima can manipulate the past. Some people are saying he can manipulate the past and not memory. He can do both. Because I'll do the same argument Tekken did. You don't go back into the past. And hold, you're in no way that man eradicated Dora Inoue from a distance and replaced him with himself. There is no way he had the ability to do that. I refuse to believe a human can have that much power. I refuse to believe that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. There was no way he had that much power. No way at all. But, I mean, I, somehow by stabbing him, I guess he manipulated the path. I don't like it, but he, he changed it so there was a path for the Bankai didn't break. So Orihime could therefore heal it. Now, this is where I have the problem. Now, I'm not even sure if Orihime powers are still rejection based, like rejecting the past event, or if they're healing. I'm really not. That was never really clarified because later, she referred, referred to it as healing, but she was staying rejected. It's all very weird. It really is. Or he makes power to freaking stupid. Alright, they really are. They pissed me off. But, I mean... Ugh. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not editing this review. It's already super late. And I'm actually kind of tired. I, my, my mic wire? So my mic broke. So I haven't been able to record videos. But, oh uh, My god. Oh my god. Okay. Let me try to explain it. Or he made power to pass rejection. 
But that doesn't excuse being able to fix the broken Bankai. If she can fix the broken Bankai, then why did Ichigo just go to her when it's time for her to broke it? Maybe I'm stupid, right? Maybe, maybe I'm not remembering something. At least it's not my theory. But as far as I am aware, it was stated the only goddamn way. I'm actually hitting my table right now. I'm so angry. It was stated the only way you could fix a broken bond guy was to make a new one in the soul palace. Make a new zombie bot tower. Something. Another thing that pisses me off is how is the bond guy still there? No, I'm not gonna be one of those people that lets things slide. I don't normally review this theory. But it annoys me. How is the bond guy still there? Ichigo powers, Ichigo Shinigami powers are mixed and his, and his hollow powers are one and the same. He merged the Shinigami and hollow powers into one. So if the hollow powers were removed, were removed, he just still had the soul, he just still had the Shinigami power. I mean, he could have lost his Shinigami power, right? Right? Or if Kubo just retconning it, so now his Shinigami powers aren't connected to his hollow powers, which then fuck up the whole don't get to thing. Oh my god! Kubo. Okay, I'm trying to understand it. So, uh, maybe he, or oh, maybe Yuha chose to only take the hollow, but then again, why would he want a hollow powers? Why would he want to take those? Hollows are the natural enemies of Quincy's. I don't know, alright? Oh my god, this chapter. Oh my god, it was so rushed. I understand Bleach is ending soon, and I understand Kubo probably being forced by Jump to end it, but you but don't retcon the main character powers again, Kubo. I'm on my knees! Please, please, almighty god, Kubo, do not retcon Ichigo powers anymore. So, I mean, there are some theories that maybe the Hollow is going to, like, poison him, or maybe, maybe people are saying that like, Ichigo emerged the powers, I don't know. But Ichigo got a Zanpato, he picked up the Bankai, and he's ready to fight. Now here's my question for you. How did this change anything? No, really. Why did Ichigo feel he had more hope of winning now than he did before? I don't understand that. New Hawk broke it, Bankai. New Hawk already proved Ichigo is not strong enough to win this fight. So why is he suddenly like, Oh, I'm Ichigo! I, uh, oh, I lost that fight like five minutes ago, but I can't win the fight now because I'm retarded. And then he retarded? Is that what it's going on? Is Ichigo retarded? I'm, I'm freaking pissed about this. It doesn't make sense. You lost him terribly like five minutes ago. You know what? You know what? A lot of stuff in this chapter I don't really like. Ichigo the main character. Therefore, he can beat you off. He, he, he had confidence. Like, one minute ago, he had no confidence because Yuha could easily defeat him and break... He, you, he had no confidence because Yuha broke his on Bato. My question to you is, why can't Yuha do that again? No, really. What? what? I mean, it's Jukushima. Jukushima can't be the way they beat Yuha. He can't be. I mean, you know how many people that would piss off? You know how angry that fan base would be? But, but then again, Jump and Fort thing him to an end it, meaning they don't think there is a fan base anymore. I don't really know. I'm waiting on that new hub versus Ichigo fight. I would assume that's gonna start, start next chapter. I mean, I would assume so. I mean, I, I don't know, guys. I said these are just me. These are just me, raw. I don't think about the review. I'm telling you, I honest to God thought of a chapter. If I, I'm not even gonna give the chapter rating. I'm not gonna rate them. I don't know. These are already been reviewed. You know what? No. These are going to be my thoughts on the. These are going to be my thoughts on Bleak Chapter, etc. They're gonna be my thoughts on the chapter. They may be kind of reviewed, they may not, I don't know. But these are not really reviewed. I wanna make sure that's clear. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you want to, to you want to see my bleak content up until the end, subscribe for that. Dude, bleak content isn't something that regularly be regularly be on the channel, but I will be making some bleak content from now until I would say I'm not going to promise you, but I'll be making bleak content from now until the end of the series. 
and after the series, I may do like one video dedicated to Bleach, where I talk about my experience with the series and my overall thoughts on it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day.